Hey everybody, what's going on? It is me, that guy from Team Nidorf, bringing you another episode of Channels That Inspire Me. If you didn't see last episode, go check it out. I talk about one of my all-time favorite channels, Team 4 Star, but without any further ado, let's get to High Impact Entertainment News Collider Video! I don't know why I did wrestler announcement, but goddamn, this channel is amazing. The level of production they've had from the start is absolutely incredible. I've been following these guys since their AMC days. And that was back when they were in a closet in the movie theater, AMC Burbank 16. And now that they moved over to Collider, actually a little before they move over to Collider, they've got their own dedicated recording space. Their nice setup is amazing. Anyhow. This is a channel to follow if you want movie news, TV news, superhero news, Star Wars news, movie reviews, trailer reactions, all that stuff. You'll find it right here. Well, not right here. Right there at Collider Video. Jesus. Collider Video is run by Collider.com, a respected movie review site. Or just movie site in general, really. So, I first found them around... 2013-ish, when the production value was good, but not to the level it is now. And they were, as I said, filming in a closet, but they did keep me up to date on all the latest movie news. And dear God, I feel like I'm just ripping lines from them, but it's true. They they keep you up to date. That That's their job. And now is as good a time as any, any to go over there and see what they have to offer. Every weekend, they have a mailbag section to give you, you know, just answers to questions people have asked. They also do it at the end of every movie talk episode, I believe TV talk episode. I'm pretty sure Nightmares, pretty sure Jedi, Coun Jedi Council Heroes. And I'll get to each of those in a second. So, uh, let's start with movie talk, the thing that brought me there. Obviously, they look at what the world of movie news has to offer that day and go over each individual topic you know the big news and then they go to like some smaller news section some uh, smaller news stories where they go whether they buy or sell and their opinions on why they either bought it or sold it and then they get down to the mailbag and twitter section so most recently we have a uh, spider-man homecoming zendaya to potentially play Mary Jane. But they say potentially play iconic Spider-Man character. Uh, they got the movie review for Ben-Hur up. They forgot. They also have these little segments that if you just want the little blurb of news and you don't have time to sit down and watch a 45 minute hour long video on all the news. It's basically like ESPN for movies. But they do have just like the little blurbs like hey so-and-so's in this, this show's doing that, here's this little bit of news, we're off and about. Now, Lighter Heroes is a show where they go through everything superhero-related, whether it be TV or movie, and maybe go with the comic pick of the week. That's right, they also do the comic pick of the week. So, for those of you who are really into comics or whatever, want, like, a new comic to read, I would suggest checking out Heroes, but if you also just want to stay on top of superhero news only, check out Collider Heroes, because it's once a week, they sit down with a panel of people, it's an hour long, and they try to attack as much of the superhero news that dropped as possible. Sometimes it's a lot, seeing as we are in basically like the golden age of superhero movies, and... Sometimes they tackle very little because sometimes, you know, not a lot of superhero movie news drops. Anyhow, in the same vein as Heroes, if you just want Star Wars news, what's happening in canon, what's happening with the movies, what's happening with the TV shows, go over to Jedi Council and they got you covered there. I know they have special guest stars. I know they've had Freddie Prince Jr. on a few times and it's pretty cool. Um... These guys know what they're talking about. Pretty sure most of them are accredited critics with Rotten Tomatoes. They got uh, the Schmoes from Schmoes Know, if you know of that channel. Uh, their main cast consists of, uh, well, 
You got Christian Harloff, Mark Ellis of Schmozno. You got John Schnepp, who's uh, one of the creators of Metalocalypse. Uh, a few other shows. He did a documentary called The Death of Superman Lives, What Happened. You have alternating hosts between uh, Ashley Mova and Sinead DeFries. Uh, we got Wendy Lee, who occasionally gives her opinion. You got Dennis Zen, who's, I believe, their production manager. He's very in the know of all this. Uh, I got Josh McCuga. Very no. You got Josh McCuga, Clark Wolf. I'm just spouting names out if you don't know who I'm talking about, but just know all of these people have insane amount of movie cred. And these same people generally haven't stirred me wrong in the direction of a movie. Like, if they say be hesitant of a movie, I'll be hesitant of one, but I'll still go in with an open mind because, as they say, film is subjective, and it's better to see it for yourself than to just take someone else's word as gospel. And... I try to take all the news I get from this and apply it to like some of my trailer reactions when I do a movie review. I try to take the news I know of that movie, depending on how much I've watched this channel. Sometimes it's very little, sometimes it's a lot. I mean, sometimes it's just, you know, the amount of, you know, news that came out for that movie. Or if it's been a long time, my memory's a little hazy. But I try to make my reviews as much like theirs as possible, try to keep it in the middle, but while still giving my honest opinion. Like, if a movie fucking sucks, I'm gonna tell you, that goddamn movie fucking sucks. Excuse me. But if a movie's great, I'm gonna tell you, go out and see this. And there really isn't really an in-between of, like, you may go see it, you may not. Like, I'm sure there's some movies like that, but generally in your heart of hearts, you know whether or not you're gonna go, yeah, I'd go see it, or yeah, I wouldn't. And these guys just, with the level of production that they have and their dedication to their fan base, the amount of insight they give, it just sort of keeps me going in the entertainment world and it's a nice way to ground yourself in it and be a little more knowledgeable in the world of movies and you can always be to your friends like, dude, did you know this? And they're going to be like, no way. And you can sort of feel like you have insider news or like insider information when you really don't. And in a world where everyone's trying to get more and more into how things are made, you know, what news drop first, who's who, like, sometimes these smaller stories end up being big, and sometimes these big stories, you need a little bit of insight, like, uh, when James Gunn got cast as Guardians of the Galaxy, for directors of Guardians of the Galaxy, I didn't know who the fuck James Gunn was. They're like, uh, yeah, he's done Slither, and he's done Super, and go check those movies out if you want to know the style. So, I went and checked out Slither, and I went and checked out Super, and they're very much in the style of how Guardians of the Galaxy was. Actually, in Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, one of the collector's things, there actually is a tank with uh, the Slithers in there. Anyhow. So... They have trailer reactions, they got top 10 list where, you know, they take two people and, you know, they take their list. You may agree with it, you may not, and, you know, they just go along with it. Like, most recently they got the top 10 epics, before that they have, like, top 10 Disney movies or whatever, something like that. Not really looking at it right now, I'm not too sure what it is. Anyhow. Uh, if you want to see two people with immense amount of movie knowledge go at it in a battle of wits, watch the movie trivia. Sh Keep wanting to say showdown, it's Schmodown. And you're going to get your fix. They sort of take a WWE wrestling approach to it as far as like the hype up to it, like the little pre... I don't know what... I can't think of the word right now, but... uh. Sort of like the opening, if you will, before they get down and dirty and do it. So, this I've been rambling long enough. I've probably sold you or not sold you on this channel. You're going to know for yourself, but, you know, go check them out. Go go give them a listen. Uh, like, if, for instance, you're on the fence about seeing Kubo and the Two Strings. I've heard nothing but good things about it. In fact... I might go see it tomorrow because I heard it's pretty damn good. 
Well, Ben Hur, I heard, is more produced and directed by someone who did a bunch of religious movies. So I might go steer clear of that one, especially because of fucking Jesus Rain. And those of you who've seen the movie or seen enough reviews know what I'm talking about when I say goddamn Jesus Rain. They ruined the movie with Jesus Rain. The middle part of the movie apparently is really good. In the beginning, it was slow, but it was getting there. They were doing okay, recreating this iconic movie. And then they had to Jesus Ray in the movie and just fuck it all up. Anyhow, this is, uh, before I, like, go on too much of a rant on, you know, I should stay true to the original, but also be open to a reboot, because that is one thing I've definitely learned, is to not freak out about a casting choice because of who's in it, because you never know, never freak out about a reboot or anything. Yeah, sure, it seems like Hollywood would be running out of ideas, rebooting everything, or making a sequel left and right, but hey, their thoughts on reboots and whatnot are. When you remake the movie, the original isn't going anywhere. So, like, if you still love the original Ben-Hur and you hated the new one, guess what? You don't have to watch the new one anymore. You can watch the old one as much as possible. In fact, it might raise your adoration for the film even more. While if the remake's good, you now have two versions of a movie you love up. And that is amazing. Anyhow, I need to go in this video because I got things to do. Mainly sleep because I haven't slept yet. But I was, felt inspired to make a video. And this is a series called Channels That Inspire Me. So I'm going to see you guys next time and we're going to break on three. One, two, three, break.